everybody, it's Kristen and I have a haul for you guys today. So um, I have some things I purchased. I have I really haven't purchased much. So I guess this is going to be my September haul. And I know that I will have some things coming up here from due to the Sephora Friends and Family and VIB sales and Ulta. I'm sure they will come out with their coupons and whatnot. So let's just go ahead and get into this in no particular order. So the first things I want to show you is I I purchased these two eyeliners from L'Oreal and one is in cobalt blue and one is in true teal and I will I'll take those out and show you I decided so if you guys watch our vlog channel or if you've seen me on Instagram live at all we're really excited about Halloween even Bob's excited because you know that we live in town we're going to have trick-or-treaters and so I decided that I wanted to do kind of something on my face and you know one of my little church cuties her name is Bella she doesn't like scary things so much and so I didn't originally I was going to do some kind of a skull on my face I thought that would be fun but I don't want to scare her at all and I don't want her to be scared of me you know what I'm saying so I decided I was going to do this butterfly thing that I saw in a L'Oreal um, advertisement that they had kind of near where these liners were and these I've heard that these liners are very creamy so they should be easy to work with on the skin so I'm going to do kind of a butterfly not kind of a butterfly look with these two liners there's the cobalt and then there's the teal and then I grabbed this to use as kind of the white on the inside and this is the color tattoo in too cool and the swatches online it looks like I could build it up enough that it would be exactly what I needed so in theory, I'm going to make some sort of butterflies, butterflies, butterfly face out of those colors. So we shall see. But I wanted to show you guys that I purchased those things. And I did actually look in my collection. And I couldn't find, um, I, I've, even though I still have a lot of liners, I've cleaned out a lot. And so I didn't really have any that were in those kind of shades that I wanted to do. I, I don't know. I thought about doing more monarch colors. But I, I strangely enough, I had no orange eyeliners. Do they even make such a thing? I'm sure they do, but I don't I don't have one. All right, so one thing that I replenished actually is the um, Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude. You guys have heard me talk about this over and over again. I loaned this to my niece for the wedding and um, I never did get it back. So I repurchased it. It's just that, that, tell, that should tell you something, how much I like that liner, knowing how expensive Charlotte Tilbury is that I would repurchase the, the exact shade. You know what I'm saying? It's just part of that nude combo that I really like so much. All right, I had, where where did I stick that? Right in front of my face. So I had purchased from David, I called this, I throw it around. There were a couple of Estee Lauder things I wanted to get. One was the concealer. I am going to do a concealer video. I may get that filmed yet today, and I wanted to have this one to talk about. So this is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place Flawless Wear Concealer, and I have it in the shade Light. That is a repurchase. I've used one of those up completely before. And then he was telling me that they had come out with this new Estee Lauder Pure Color Envy Lash Mascara. And I want to show you, I've already used this, so I can go ahead and show you. If you can see the brush, see how on the top it has little bristles and other ones on the bottom, so you can separate with the top and build up with the lash part of the wand there. And I've played with it a little bit, too soon to tell, but I, I do like how my lashes have looked with this. So I purchased those. Uh, let's see, let's talk about a couple things that were sent to me. So influencers, this is an influencer box. Anybody can sign up for that. You just go to influencer site. And they sent me, which I find interesting, it's a pure clay cleanser. It says exfoliate and refine, removes everyday impurity. So I haven't tried it yet. It's made with red clay. And it's interesting to me. I, I kind of assumed when I opened it that it was a mask, but it's actually a cleanser. So I will for sure try that and let you guys know. And yesterday or the day before, I can't remember, I got in the mail um, a package from Becca, which you guys know I always get super excited about those. And it had the two holiday palettes in it. So the circle one, I have the thing here so I, I don't tell you incorrectly, is the Eye Lights palette. And what they did, this sells for $45, and there are six shades, or seven shades, excuse me, and I'll show you in a second, but it says um, that this is a limited edition eyeshadow palette featuring their best-selling shimmering skin perfector highlighter formula customized for eyes. Create endless looks with our seven neutral shades and two luxe finishes, so they have a satin and a shimmer finish in here. 
So again, this is the, and let me grab, for size comparison, this is the size of a Tarte, one of the Tarte palettes like this, so very similar to that. Um, there is a little, I, th I feel like they probably could have made it a little bit smaller, but it's very pretty. So this is Rose Quartz, Moonstone, and Opal. So Rose Quartz, Moonstone, and Opal. Topaz, Toasted Marshmallow, and Hot Cocoa. Topaz, Toasted Marshmallow, and Hot Cocoa. And then this is Pearl, which is in the center there. And there's Pearl. So there's all those shades. Very pretty. I'm going to guess the two satins are the Toasted Marshmallow. It doesn't actually say in here, but the Toasted Marshmallow and the Hot Cocoa, these two shades right here. So very pretty. I'm excited to have a little play with that. And then this palette is the Apre Ski Glow Collection Face Palette. And it has a combination of shimmering highlighters, warm blushes, and an, a, spit it out game, and a, a universally flattering bronzer to define and illuminate your complexion. Good gravy. So let me get this open and show you. So here are the shades. This is, I could see that as a blush. I don't know about this. I'm sure they intend this to be a blush, but I'm not really sure that that would work so well for me. But let me give you some swatches. So Rose Quartz, Icicle, and Winterberry. And it says this is a highlighter, this is a highlighter, and then obviously Winterberry is a blush. I can't wait to wear that Winterberry. It just looks so pretty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> looks really, really pretty. So those are, again, let me just say, Rose Quartz, Icicle, and Winterberry. And then the Bonro Blushed Copper, Opal and Bronzed Bondi. I gotta say, I didn't think that bronzer would work, but I can tell that it will work now because it just looked, it looked more shimmery in the palette. So Blushed Copper, Opal, and Bronze Blondie. And you can see that there's not a ton of sheen, just like a kind of a healthy glow in that bronzer. So this, I cannot wear it. There's no way I can wear that as a blush. Maybe a topper, but I don't think so. So anyway, um, it would be really pretty as an eyeshadow, like really, really pretty. So thank you so much, Rebecca. I am excited about those. Isn't it always a bummer when you pick up your coffee cup and think there's coffee in it and there's not? I did a live earlier this morning and I drank my coffee and I've gone to work and come back. I don't know what made me think there was still coffee in this. All right. So I had I've talked about doing a cleansing balm kind of review video. And in order for me to do that, I feel I felt like I needed to try more than the three I've tried. So I picked up some of the ones that you guys had suggested. So this is the one from the Body Shop, and it's in chamomile. It's a sumptuous cleansing butter, but apparently it functions, you know, like a balm. And it just has a clean scent to it. I don't know what it will be like when I use it, but so I grabbed that one. And this was another one um, somebody had suggested from Pharmacy in green clean and I, didn't, I don't think I've even smelled this one yet. I've had this for quite a while waiting for me to haul it. Well, I've already ripped the packaging. It's it's just the packaging. It's not that big of a deal. I'm not sure why it drives me so crazy. Oh, look at this. It's open. It opens up into all the instructions. What a good use of packaging. That is genius. And then all the stuff's on there so you don't have something else that's... That is really smart. Sorry, it's the little things. I had no idea it did that. Uh, so this is, by the way, in this, I think I had to buy this on Amazon. But there's no, there's 2.7 ounces in here. This is 3.2 ounces. And this is a Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm. Ooh, this comes with a little spatula. That's, that's neat. It smells kind of... Fresh and citrusy. So we shall see. But I wanted to let you know I did buy those that you guys had suggested. And so then I'll have five that I'll be able to talk about in a video once I've used those. So I'm I am um, thrilled to have that. I got this. I, I've not tried this, but it was a sample that popped up, I think. The Belief, the True Cream Moisturizing Balm. Balm, like B O M B, not B A L M. And I picked up a 500 point print. I, I have been using pretty much all the caviar anti-aging line from Alterna and really really liking it so they had this one anything that has a travel shampoo and conditioner I'm, I'm pretty much going to sign up for 
you know. All right, so lastly, I know a lot of people have shown these already, but this is the It Cosmetics, or it, it is an It Cosmetics box. And in here, it had two products. It has the, I have to get it out of here. It's really big. The It Miracle Water Anti-Aging 3-in-1 Glow Tonic. So it's a skin brightening, radiance booster, anti-aging treatment essence, and skin softening micellar cleanser. So usually I just use micellar waters to take off my eye makeup, but I'll have to research and see if this one can be used like as a toner or what. Let me see. It says use this in innovative in use this innovative glow tonic morning and evening after cleansing or in place of your cleanser to purify, hydrate, treat, and transform your skin. To apply, saturate a cotton pad and gently sweep across your face to cleanse and remove any makeup or impurities for a younger, healthier looking result. Do not rinse pat remaining product onto skin until fully absorbed. So that is going to be fun to try. And then the other product that's in here, I had to like get the little drawer open here, this little drawer. You're supposed to scratch off the things, but this, lots of people have been talking about, it's the It Secret Sauce, and it's an anti-aging moisturizer. So I feel like I've kind of been doing, right now, I'm just, just I would say, finished going through the Volition skincare products, so I can come back to a review to review those with you guys. And then I'll switch over to, I can't remember, maybe I don't have another one. Maybe I can switch over to all the It, it Cosmetics cleansing products and or skincare products and then do a little bit of a review for you guys on those so um thank you so much to it cosmetics for sending those over to me and lastly is a product that i purchased just last night i returned some things to both sephora and alta they were all both of them were like beyond the time in which you can return them which is totally fine because i'll use the store credit so i just had to do store credit but one of the things i picked up quickly because on my instagram live you guys had talked me into it is the Too faced just peachy palette and it's all mattes i'm sure you guys have seen this a million times so i think i'm going to challenge myself and do a four looks one palette with this i don't i very rarely do an all matte eye very very rarely and so i'm going to get, go ahead and give it a shot and try doing that not only with one look but four looks for you guys so that will be coming soon. I just have to decide whether I want to do this one first or the Jaclyn Hill um, Morphe palette. I kind of feel like this one because I'm excited about the challenge. So anyway, we shall see. And I think that's everything I have to show you guys. Um, I will link the sweater below because I had a bunch of questions on um, live this morning for that. On my face today, I have the Chanel Le Beige. That's the foundation that I'm currently working through. And by the way, if you see a lot of videos of of me or at least a couple in this outfit and whatnot i apologize it's just the way it has to be right now so i have that all over my face for my blush today i have the nars blush and the liquid blush in orgasm i have the morphe 35 f palette on my eyes jury's still out on this one but i use these two shades here on my lid blended with this shade right here and then use a little block type underneath my brow bone and then for my lips, I have MAC Lip Liner in Current down first. And then I have Sequin, which looks like that. If you look at this, you're going to see my lip liner, so it looks like that. Over the top of it, just for kind of a little more of a fun fall lip. And, oh, highlight. Definitely have a highlight. I don't know where I put it. And the highlight is the Becca Prosecco Pop that I just showed in, the, in my BoxyCharm box. And I think that is everything. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're having a great day and everything that you do be beautiful.